and welcome to Grandad Reviews. In this video, I want to look at noise reduction in video on the X series cameras. And this came about after watching Gerald Undone do his review of the new XH2S. It's a fantastic video. It uh, goes quite well into depth, uh, well worth watching. I'll put the link below. But one of the things he mentioned was the noise in the video at the higher ISOs. Mainly saying that it's quite organic and it actually looks quite pleasing even with the noise. But then he looked at the noise reduction in camera compared to noise reduction post-production. And he was saying that the noise reduction in post-production seemed to work better. So I thought I'd have a look and see if that's true of the older cameras. So I took the XS10, which is shooting in 8-bit internally, shot it at its highest ISO, so 12,800, which obviously gave us a bit of noise. And then I filmed it with the noise reduction set to 0, then to minus 4, then to plus 4, compared those and then used the minus four video and did noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve. And I'm using version 18 beta, the studio version. And let's see what the difference is. Right, we've had a look and my conclusion is the same as Gerald. Doing the noise reduction in post-production gives a more pleasing result and more control as well. So you can keep some of the noise there or remove as much as you want. Plus you can sharpen it, the actual image up so you don't lose so much detail. Because in the in-camera in actual noise reduction, Minus four, obviously you're getting next to nothing, so you've got the full noise. Zero is fairly okay, but when you go above four, above zero, should I say, you just start to lose detail and it just goes plastically and it's not nice at all, especially on plus four. So yes, doing the noise reduction in post-production does seem the best way to go. If you're not using DaVinci Resolve uh, and using Premiere or something like that, you could probably use the plug-in, the Neat Video, which I've used before, which is very good. But in DaVinci Resolve, it works fantastic. So yeah, that's how it seems better to do it in post-production. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.